On March 1st, 1972, the United States Congress established an act to protect what would become America's first national river. Situated in the northern half of the state of Arkansas, the river is one of the most famous rivers of the Ozark Hills that I call home. Its towering rock bluffs have some of the highest cliff faces in the whole Midwest, and its clear waters are home to over 59 different species of fish. This beautiful river has never been fished by a femboy, at least as far as I know. fishing season one finale. Right now we are driving in northern Arkansas on our way to the Buffalo River. I'm joined with my brother Michael. Follow him on Instagram. He's going to be driving us and uh, fishing with us. Hopefully we uh, catch lots of cool stuff and have a good time. So we found our campsite. Uh, we're going to start setting up our stuff. It's got pretty nice access to the river. There's like two access points and they go right down to this nice little area. So we better go ahead and start setting up. Welcome back to Femboy trying to figure out how to set up a tent. Michael seems to be setting his up just all right. A few moments later, the tent is set up. It's got a cat on the side, so it's a uh, it's a cat boy tent. It's uh, it's honestly not that great. Um, there's like no support. I can feel pine cones under here, so but it's okay. Um, I, I can make my back hurt for this. I think we are ready. The sounds of the river are super nice too, because it's like it's like right outside. Okay, so uh, our original plan was to uh, cook dinner and then go fishing uh, before dark because we want to fish like right at twilight. But I am so tempted from being here that I'm just going to uh, fish now. This looks poggers. Oh my goodness. You see that pool right down there? How much you want to bet there's like tons of small math in here. As it turns out, fishing down there was very uneventful. I did, however, come down to this little pool. It's kind of an offshoot of the buffalo. There's a little fish in here. I'm gonna see if I can catch a crayfish. Hello. He's little. We might actually eat a few crayfish while we're here because um, crayfish are pretty tasty, especially when they're freshly caught out of the creek. Michael is cooking dinner. Got two nice pre-caught trout fillets. You take a, you wad up a paper towel and you put a little bit of oil on it. 
Hmm. Kind of works. So we were gonna go fishing tonight, um, but it got kind of dark and we decided that we should just do it tomorrow morning. So tomorrow morning, we are gonna get up early and we're gonna go fish. I'll see you guys in the morning. change of plans. We were going to go fishing this morning, but it's ridiculously cold and uh, there's some stuff that we need to get, so we're heading into town and then I guess we're going to make breakfast. Like, some stuff's changed around here. Yeah, last it time I was here, I was there. there. It is time to eat some breakfast. Hands coming undone because it's like our, this is our only hand. Oh, that's uh, sketchy. Yeah, very. So we are off on our way to go fishing. We're gonna follow this little trail down, and then there's a little gravel bar over there with a shallow pool on the other side of it. It looks like a pretty good spot to fish, so I think we're gonna fish there. All right, so we made it down to our first little fishing hole. Right now we're parked over a little bit of structure. And uh, I'm trying to be quiet because I think there's a bunch of bluegills and maybe even some bass down there that are hanging in this little kind of bluish green pocket. So I'm going to go ahead and cast my little spinner along the side of this bank and see if I can get the attention of any fish in here. An idea, actually. So we decided to move to another spot. Uh, this one spot is kind of hard to cast because there's that tree right there, especially since both of us are casting here. So we're trying to find like a deep pool with a gravel bar that kind of comes up because usually the smallies hang around structure in those kinds of places, but we'll just see what we can find. I came across this one spot with this bluff that's up there. And while there is a little bit of current, it's pretty shallow. I think we're gonna try and cross it and fish from over there because this looks a lot more promising. Oh, I'm seeing lots of little shiners in the water too. Yeah, this current isn't as bad as I thought. Oh wow, look at that. You guys see that? There's like a big school of stone rollers right there. This is getting like up to my knees right here. This is beautiful. So I just crossed over here. My brother is over there in the middle of crossing right now. And this looks like a significantly better spot. This looks like a good place to get smallies. I'm just going to kind of fish up and down the bank. I'm not sure what my brother's going to do yet. I think he's going to try fly fishing. So hopefully we'll uh, get something cool here. My brother just got a fish. Let's go check it out. Yeah, he's a little long ear sunfish. Look at all the colors on him too. That's cool. What did you catch him on? A uh, brown woolly bugger. Oh. Nice. Yeah, he's the only one I've seen. Huh. So I decided to switch to this little grub. That little crayfish crankbait wasn't really getting as far as I'd like it to, and uh, it didn't really seem like much of the fish that were here are interested in it, so. So I decided to switch to this smaller little spinner bait. I put these little split shots on it since my biggest problem today I've been noticing is that I haven't been able to cast over where they are. So I'll see if maybe this will get me over there. Hey guys, Erin from the future here. Um, my camera got a little bit too wet and I didn't realize it when I was filming this. So the audio is a little bit shaky. So just bear with me. So I decided to move over here alongside this bluff. I'm gonna try fishing in here and see if there's anything. Buffalo River, I guess. I figured there was probably something hiding along this big bedrock bluff, and 
I guess this little guy was there. Such a beautiful fish. I love him. Thanks for letting me catch you, little guy. See you later. After fishing for two hours, me and my brother Michael didn't catch anything other than those two sunfish. We did, however, happen to come across a really pretty school of what I believe are bleeding shiners. After this, we decided to head back to the camp. So I found a bunch of bamboo growing, like all along this area by our campsite, and I decided, hey, I'm gonna make a little cane pole. So I took all the leaves off a bamboo plant. It's like the longest one I could find. And I tied this little jig thing to it. I might try using it in a little bit, actually. And I take this and kind of hold it over where they are and then kind of, you know, jig with it. It might work, maybe. After fishing earlier, I kind of thought that the fishing was slow. So I decided to go fishing off camera and... And I caught the first rock bass I've ever caught in my entire life. So I don't normally do this, but we're gonna actually keep them because we don't have very much food. There's no size limit on these guys, so we're gonna eat them. I was just jigging my cane pole on the side of the river. Uh, there's a bunch of little shiners in here and something big came up and bit it, or at least bigger than the shiners. And it's a baby smallmouth bass. That is so cool. Thanks for letting me catch you, buddy. I'll see you later. I kind of figured I could probably do this one-handed, so I'll just film it this way, I guess. Oh, he's going after it. There we go. Got one. Oh, yeah. It's a little sunfish. Let's go look at him. These little sunfishes are absolutely beautiful. It's kind of funny, I came to the Buffalo River expecting to catch big fish, and instead I'm catching these little guys, but they are so beautiful. I'll go ahead and let them go. Thanks for letting me catch a little guy. I'll see you later. I don't have very much battery life on my phone, and I don't have my tripod or GoPro or anything with me, so I guess I'll go ahead and head back. So I'm back at the camp and me and Michael decided we are going to go into town and get something for dinner. So on to the next store. So my brother decided to go in for me. I guess we'll just uh, wait out here. I just noticed there's a big old spider inside of my tent. That's gross. I think I got him out. I had to stick him in my little battery charger box and chuck him outside. Tomorrow we're gonna try to get up and fish in the morning again. We're gonna try to go to some other spots and see if maybe the fishing's better there, so. Anyway, good night guys. Good morning, everyone. It is currently 6.56 a.m. Uh, I got up a little later than yesterday. Uh, yesterday, I didn't get very much sleep, so I kind of made up for it today. I think it rained a little bit last night. There's lots of, like, green drops on the tent, so I don't know. Alright, so we are on our way to the Little Buffalo River. 
we decided to change some things up a bit and instead of just fishing kind of around our campsite we're gonna actually travel and go to some places so hopefully we get some stuff today so we are on our way down to this one spot that we saw it looks like there's a big flat deep pool uh, we just parked under this bridge where the highway goes over but we're gonna kind of walk a little away from that I'm gonna try fly fishing. Michael, are you gonna fly fish or just regular fish first? I'm gonna do both. Okay. Yeah. So hopefully we get some stuff here. We think that since it's a smaller river, the fish might be more contained and maybe they'll be easier to catch. So my brother is right across the bank right there and apparently he almost caught a smallmouth. I still wanna fly fish, but I think for right now, I'm gonna switch to my regular pole because I wanna see if I can get a smallmouth too. So I decided to use this little copper colored uh, Fiberlux spinner. I think it's a blue fox spinner. I've been noticing this color has been working really well since I came down here. It's what I caught the rock bass on, so we'll just try this out. Oh, I got one. I got a fish. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a, I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a rock bass. Sweet. Oh, dude, that's a nice rock bass, too. Oh, wow. I was going to say this lure worked well for catching that one rock bass yesterday. Wow. I'm kind of happy I caught this one on camera, unlike yesterday, so I can finally show you guys all of the colors on a rock bass. Look at him. Wow, he is beautiful. They're kind of different from your ordinary bass or bluegill. I believe they're actually uh, more closely related to uh, bluegills and sunfish than they are to actual bass. They're just called rock bass for some reason. Such a cool fish. I love them. Thanks for letting me catch you, buddy. I'll see you later. So my brother's making his way upstream. And uh, I think we're gonna stay down here just for a little bit since there's a bunch of fish in this big, deep, long pool. I switched to this little MEP spinner. It's got a single hook on it and it's a little smaller and I've noticed this thing works really, really good for trout and panfish, so we're going to try using this. I wasn't really catching anything with that little MEP spinner, and I kind of want to meet back up with my brother, so we're just going to kind of get in the water and head upstream and meet back up with him. There's like a spring that comes out right here. It's not too cold actually. It's about the same temperature as the river. Interesting. So I'm gonna move up to this one pool right here, just behind that big rock in the middle. So we're just gonna be using a little brown woolly bugger. Keep in mind, I am not the best at fly fishing, but uh, I have learned a little bit, so I'll try my best and see if we can maybe get a small mouth or something. Mother, f come on. There's another fly. Yeah. What's that other Christopher Cross song Dad listens to all the time? It's got Michael McDonald in it. Let's go, such a long way to go. So I ride like the wind. Ride like the wind. So I decided to switch back to regular fishing um, just because I'm having a hard time trying to get a fly to go where I need it to go. My brother's already heading back to the truck. I just decided I'm going to stick around just for a little bit more and see if I can catch a smallmouth with my regular pole since it's what I'm more accustomed to. I'm just going to be using this little Rough Rider spoon. My brother said he almost caught a smallmouth on his earlier on his regular pole when we first got here. So 
We'll try this out. Is that, I got a fish. Oh man. Oh, what is it though? I don't know what this is. It's a small mouth. I got a small mouth. Yes. Okay. Oh, I've been waiting so long to catch a smallmouth since coming here. Michael said he almost caught one back there. Oh, wow. Look at him. He's not the biggest smallmouth ever, but man, he is beautiful. They call these guys bronze backs uh, on the buffalo. This is the little buffalo, but I think it still applies. Such a beautiful fish. I love him. Thanks for letting me catch you, buddy. I'll see you later. Well, now that I know that the smallies are biting here, I think we should go and try to catch one more and maybe then we'll head back and meet back up with my brother. Got one. Oh, it's another rock bass. Wow, I think this one was bigger than the last rock bass we caught. He bit it like last second too. Wow. Look at him, he's, he's big. Another beautiful rock bass. Man, I just love that black spotted pattern that's on the side of them. They're so pretty. Such a beautiful fish. I love them. I was fishing, Michael. Great for you, it sucked for me. Bass is your, like, forte, man. Trout's mine. That's true. Oh, trout's mine. After lunch, we decided to go to another spot on the Buffalo River. Unfortunately, there wasn't really much fishing there, and once it started to rain, we realized we probably should leave. So, we came back to the campsite. And my brother wasn't feeling too good. He was feeling kind of sick. So I kind of just decided I'm going to go fish by myself. I have a plan. I'm going to follow to where this trail ends because the place we went to yesterday in the morning, uh, we cut the trail off short. So I was following the trail and I thought I heard running water and I was like kind of confused. Like I didn't think we were that close to the buffalo. So it turns out this trail actually goes by a waterfall. I'm going to get a little closer so you guys can see it. This is beautiful. This tiny little creek actually has like crayfish and fish and stuff. I don't know if you guys can see. It's really clear. There's actually tons of little waterfalls on this stream that the trail's following. It's like the, uh, the little waterfall stream. As I walked this trail, I had a realization. This entire trip, while I may not have mentioned it much, I was hoping for catching that big beautiful bass, or maybe seeing the grandest cliff on the river. I wanted to make this video the best video that I could. All this time, I ignored the little things. I ignored so much beauty that was right there in front of me. Maybe it's weird, but this little trail and these little waterfalls taught me a valuable life lesson. It taught me to recognize all the little details and to appreciate them. To appreciate even the smallest beautiful things life gives you. It gave me a moment I will never forget about. So, I followed that trail and uh, pretty much it came out right here at this one spot on the river. I was kind of looking and because of the current and because of the way of the land, it'd be really difficult to really catch anything right here. I think I'll just go ahead and head back. Hey, the expiration date on that meal. Mm -hmm. Express 2050.
Dang. On the free treadmill, I'll be like over 60 years old. So this is our last night sleeping in the tent. Tomorrow we go home. Uh, we're going to be fishing a different uh, creek other than the buffalo. We decided to fish Crooked Creek, which is a stream that's a little bit north of the buffalo. It's kind of on the way home and there's supposed to be really good fishing there. So on that note, uh, good night guys. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It is currently seven o'clock. Today is the final day of our trip. Goodbye campsite. So we came down to this one spot that's kind of below this bridge. It actually doesn't look like too bad of a place to fish. There's this little trail that kind of comes down here. We're probably going to wade through most of it. Hopefully we can get like some smallies or some other types of fish. This water is extra cheap. There's a snapping turtle. Yeah, snapping turtle. Yeah. So I came down to this one spot and uh, it's actually pretty deep in the middle there. So um, I'm gonna kind of park myself on the side and then try to fish kind of up and down the bank. I'm just gonna be using this little panfish spinner bait. So my brother said there's a deeper pool down over there and I just saw there's this huge bedrock bluff next to this creek. Looks like there's some kind of cave up there, too. It's kind of interesting. Okay, so there's this one brackish pool, and I'm seeing some bigger fish in it. Like, I think there's smallies in there. They all just swam off, but they're in this one kind of pond that's circulating right here. I still have my little spinner on, so... So I was going to move, and uh, right where I was about to move, is another big snapping turtle. He's kind of moving that way. I'm just gonna hang out in these weeds because most of the fish are over there anyway and kind of just let him do his own thing because um, I don't feel like losing a toe tonight, so. Okay, so I moved to the other side of this little pool where it's shady. I'm hoping that this will help them not see me as well, so. A few moments later. Got one. Yep, got a fish. I don't know what it is, but I got something. Looks like a common shiner. Okay. That was a bit unexpected. He's a little common shiner. He's little. He's a cool little fish. I love him. Thanks for letting me catch you, buddy. I'll see you later. So we decided to move upstream to one more spot. Fish there. And then we'll probably call it off there. It's almost noon, and my brother said he wants to get home soon, so... <gasps> there's a... There's a slider turtle right there. Okay, hold on one second, guys. Guys, check this out. It's a little red-eared slider. He was just sitting under this log here. He's just vibing. I love him. Alright, well... We don't have a whole lot of time out here, and I want to continue fishing so I'm gonna go ahead and let him go after I found that turtle my main camera decided to die 
I did have my GoPro camera on, but unfortunately the footage from that is lost. I can't find it anywhere. Just to fill you in on what did happen, I caught this little smallmouth and then we went home. Thank you guys so much for watching the Femboy Fishing Season 1 finale. I'm pretty happy to finally get that out to you guys. Uh, I know I've been promising it for a long time, so to finally release it is pretty relieving. I have a lot of exciting things planned for Season 2, uh, which I won't get too much into it. I want to keep it a bit of a surprise. Um, but there is one thing that I do want to tell you guys um, that I'm planning for Season 2. Basically, I live on a property, and on this property that I live on, uh, there's a creek that runs through this property. The creek dries up usually half the year, and there isn't really any fish in it. There is some crayfish and other things, but there really isn't anything in it. So I'm planning on building a series of weirs, which are kind of like little dams, which will make a bunch of pools and then pumping water into the creek um, to stock with fish and basically make the creek that's on my property fishable. I thought it'd kind of be an interesting idea for a mini series. So uh, I still don't know exactly how I'm gonna do this mini series yet, or how it'll work. Um, I figure I'll let you guys know in the future, maybe in future episodes, or maybe even the first episode of this mini series. So as always, uh, be sure to leave any comments or any suggestions, anything that you might want to say about this video or other videos alike. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later.